All right, Olivia, I sorted your potions puzzle, learned how to make a special witch potion puzzle, decoded your grocery list puzzle, solved your tablet charging puzzle, logged into your bank account and paid your credit card puzzle, sent a thank you card to your parents puzzle, did your laundry puzzle, and fixed your Wi-Fi puzzle. I only asked you to sweep my floors, and none of those were puzzles. And how did you get into my bank account? Nancy. I've been looking all over for you. Side by side, remember? Please take her. I can't take any more of the can't check that off yet. This is the last time I ever do exclusive witch tours. Bye Olivia. Let me know what your parents think of the 60 Coco Kringles I mailed them from my lifetime supply. I billed it to your credit card. It got declined. Okay, bye. So I thought about what you said earlier about the educational stuff. I'm sorry Nancy. I think this is why we make a great team. You're super good at this stuff. Deirdre, it's totally fine. You know, if I didn't need your help, I'd be so disgusted right now that we're being so nice to each other. Uh-huh, sure Deirdre. Let's just get this over with. So after you left, Tegan showed me all the interesting information about the town of Salem and the Salem Witch Trials. Did you start reading through it all yet? No, Olivia asked me to help her do chores. Oh I love doing chores. Which reminds me. Do Olivia's laundry, check. Not the task list again. Start doing research of Salem Witch Trials? Can't check that off yet. Nancy? How about you give me one of the books Tegan gave you? I would love to. Let's get started. So Nancy, did you find anything useful? According to what I found, the root beer book my imposter boyfriend stole in Austria was the Book of Apologies. Judge John Hathorne wrote the book to apologize to the witches he condemned during the Salem witch trials. It turns out, this book has nothing to do with root beer. Oh the horror. How can that be? I also found out that John Hathorne had the Hathorne house constructed, the same house that burned a few days ago. According to a newspaper I found, the only living descendant of John Hathorne is Frances Tuttle. She passed away recently at 102 years old. Tuttle's house is now city property until they decide who the house should go to. Apparently Tuttle had a caretaker, Lauren Holt. Maybe we should go give this Lauren a visit. Was there anything else? It says here that Judge Danforth is the presiding judge over the Hathorne Estates case. Maybe we could go pay him a visit too? Town Hall is right around the corner. Let's go. Learn more about Salem and the witch trials? I'm finished with that. Judge Danforth, are you here? It's locked. His receptionist said he was here. Judge Danforth. Are you in there? I think I hear something, it's the judge. What did he say? He's saying he's locked in his office and he can't get out. And that he needs someone to pick up his dry cleaning before they close at 5. And if someone could go get him some food. Cool. A cooking mini game. Nancy? No. 